What's up everyone? Welcome back for another movie reaction and today we're going to be watching Back to the Future. Shout out to one of our Patreons, Burn the 23 for this recommendation. I have never seen this movie before and I feel like with how nerdy of a person I am and I do really enjoy sci-fi movies, I am also just as shocked as you are that I have never seen this movie before. Actually, I do have like a fun little story about that though. When I was in high school, I used to shop at Forever 21. It was cheap. It was you know, pretty fashion forward. And I remember walking in there and I saw this super cool retro crew neck sweater and it had Back to the Future on it with a car. And I remember at the time I was like, I don't know what that is. If that's a movie, I've never seen it, but I think the shirt is really cute. So I bought it, but that opened up a can of worms and everywhere I went, somebody would reference my shirt. If I was wearing that shirt, they'd be like, oh my God, I love that movie. And then they'd, then they'd start like, rattling off all these facts and these these things that I had no idea what they were talking about and I was like oh I've never actually seen the movie you could imagine their look they were like why why then <laughs> why I don't know why okay I bought the shirt because I thought it was cute and I really dig the retro vibe Okay, I learned a very valuable lesson from that. Don't wear shirts of bands or movies where you actually have no idea what it is. Because <laughs> you will open yourself up to all of these questions that you will have no idea how to answer. Anyway, that's my little tangent fun fact story that no one asked for. You're welcome. I see you reaching for the unsubscribe button. Yeah. Anywho, just kidding. I am just ready to kind of sit back, relax, enjoy a movie that I've never seen before. Life has been so crazy lately and I kind of just want an opportunity to just turn my brain off and watch something entertaining and classic. And to tell you the truth, I'm loving going back in time and pun intended. I am loving going back in time and watching all of these older classic movies because I really don't know if I'd be able to watch all the current modern movies right now. Like this stuff, this is my jam. I am so ready for this movie and I'm ready to finally figure out what all the hype is about. And then who knows, maybe after this, then I can go buy a new Back to the Future sweatshirt and this time it'll actually mean something. I apologize in advance for any dumb comments and or too much talking or not enough talking sometimes i get so in the moment with like games and movies and stuff, especially if i really like it that i just like forget where i am anyway cheers i hope you enjoy the video all right let's do this Ooh, steven spielberg i mean i feel like i should at least have known that Shh, stop judging me that was the logo on my shirt that i bought that had no business buying. I would have run out of that room by now. The ticking is giving me anxiety. Yeah, I knew people that had a cat clock like that. Dude, unsettling though. <laughs> Officials at the Pacific Nuclear Research Facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility. Officials now attribute the discrepancy to a simple clerical error. Oh, that is well done. That was gross. May as well eat cardboard. This looks like the home of a mad scientist. Am I right? Am I onto something? I don't even want to say what that looks like. We all know what it looks like. My dog wouldn't hey, doc. even be in the same room as that. Einstein, come here, boy. What's going on? Oh, God. Yeah, someone on the floor. Handle with care. Nice. Good, good going. Don't know if this is a good idea. Oh! I thought he was about to cook something. You know, it was just play guitar. AKA cooking up sweet beets. 
Oh, that's a speaker. <laughs> I'm sorry, people falling is always funny. <laughs> You got a lot of explaining to do. Loud noises! Yes, and I'm awake, thank you. Oh, this is a... I love this song. My parents, my entire life, had all the clocks in the house set to 10 minutes fast. I'm sorry, parents. I'm outing you for that. So now I still have to remind myself that most clocks are in fact on time. <laughs> it was to trick yourself into being places on time even though you would just do the mental math and still show up at the same time. Oh, I can feel it. If you get caught, it'll be four tardies in a row. Okay, come on. I think we're safe. <laughs> My hair didn't look that good in high school. Understand you're still hanging around with Dr. Emmett Brown McFly. Now let me give you Nichols with a free advice, young man. This so-called Dr. Brown is dangerous. He's a real nutcase. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. I notice your band is on the roster for the dance auditions after school today. Why even bother, McFly? You don't have a chance. You're too much like your old man. This guy should never be a teacher. Like that would never fly. Ha! McFly! Oh, he's actually playing the song! She's so pretty. Oh my god. I mean, I'm happy for her, but... Marty, one rejection isn't the end of the world. It's like Doc Yeah, I know, saying. I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Wouldn't it be great? Take that truck up to the lake. Throw a couple of sleeping bags in the back. So they're dating, right? And he just checked out bums. Got it. Does your mom know about tomorrow night? Well, Jennifer, my mother would freak out if she knew I was going up there with you. I think the woman was born a nun. She's just trying to keep you respectable. Well, she's not doing a very good job. Terrible. Save the clock tower! Take your clock and... and Thirty years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. Free inheritance. There you go, lady. There's a quarter. Thank you. Don't forget to take a flyer. Where were we? Right about here. Jennifer. It's my dad. Right. I've got to go. I can't believe you loaned me your car without telling me it had a blind spot. I never noticed that uh, the car had any blind spot before when I would drive it. Hi, son. Can I assume? That your uh, insurance is going to pay for the damage? My insurance? It's your car. I spilled beer all over when that car smashed into me. Who's going to pay my cleaning bill? And uh, where's my reports? Uh, well, I haven't finished those up yet, but, you know, I, I figured since they weren't due till. Hello? Months. Do you realize what would happen if I handed my reports in your handwriting? I'll get fired. I am so distracted by that man's hair. I'll uh, finish those reports on up tonight, and I'll... We'll run him on over first thing tomorrow, all right? Uh, McFly, your shoes on tight. I see where Donald Trump got his hairspiration from. Okay, I have your car towed all the way to your house, and all you got for me is light beer? What are you looking at, butthead? Say hi to your mom for me. I needed that car in the morning, Dad. I mean, do you have any idea how important this was to me? Do you have any clue? He got a hot date. Yes. We're gonna have to eat this cake by ourselves. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. I think it's a major embarrassment having an uncle in prison. God damn it, I'm not. David, watch your mouth. Then come here and kiss your mother before you go. Does he kiss his mother with that mouth? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> hey, Marty. <laughs> Jennifer Parker called you twice. I don't like her, Marty. Any girl who calls up a boy is just asking for trouble. They would hate me, then. <laughs> Two-way street, what? I never chased a boy or called a boy or sat in a parked car with a boy. Then how am I supposed to ever meet anybody? Like the way I met your father. 
That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> if Grandpa hadn't hit him, then none of you would have been born. If that was my legacy, sheesh. Anyway, your grandpa hit him with the car, so you decided to go with him to the fish under the sea dance. No, no, it was the enchantment under the sea dance. It was the night of that terrible thunderstorm, remember, George? Your father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor, and it was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. I can't tell if that's a face of disgust. She looks like she got a fart. How do you sleep in jeans, you monster? Oh, I can't watch this anymore. Hello. Marty, you didn't fall asleep, did you? Uh, Doc. Uh, no. This is very important. I forgot my video camera. Can you stop by my place and pick it up on your way to the mall? On my way. My gosh, malls. What are those? I don't go to those anymore. I'm sorry, did it say 1.16 a.m.? Okay, okay. Yeah. This is normal. Einstein. Hey, Einstein, where's the dot, boy? No dramatic music? <laughs> it's a DeLorean. DeLorean? I'm sorry, I had to pause that right there. My name is Miranda Lorian, but a totally different Lorian or DeLorean. And then you're telling me I could also have done it and spelled it as like the DeLorean the car and gotten the same effect. Oh my God, if I ever have a name change, nothing will actually change except for the spelling. That's, I'm sorry, that's really cool. Miranda DeLorean. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. Please note, that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Watch ahead. This screams bad idea. Uh Poor dog! <laughs> yeah, I'd be getting out of the way, too. My calculations are correct. Oh, no, 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 there. Maybe hits 88 miles per hour. You're gonna see some serious shit. Oh, he's as crazy as his hair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Wait. What did I tell you? Did you get that on camera? You disintegrated Einstein. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? I sent him into the future. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Look out! Oh my gosh. Here comes the Miranda Lorian. <laughs> Oh, good, the dog's okay. Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine and still ticking. Come here. I'll show you how it works. Oh, gosh. Time always confuses me. Whenever they play with time in movies, I have to pay, like, extra attention. This readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. Too many variables. Here's a red-letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. November 5th, 1955. That was the day I invented time travel. I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. It's a cool backstory. When this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. And Peabody on all of this. He had this crazy idea about breeding pine trees. <laughs> I love when he goes all crazy eyes. It's so funny. Unfortunately, no, it requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium. Doc, you don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. Did you rip that off? Of course. From a group of Libyan nationalists. They wanted me to build them a bomb. So I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. <laughs> oh, plutonium. Just looks like a vodka cranberry. Oh, God. That scared the. Hello, so I got my 
it. I mean, who knows if they got cotton underwear in the future? The future? That's right. 25 years into the future. Uh, look me up when you get there. Oh my gosh, yeah, he's gonna be so much older. I, Dr. Emmett Brown, am about to embark on an historic journey. I almost forgot to bring extra plutonium. How did I ever expect to get back? One pellet, one trip? I must be out of my mind. <laughs> That the cops? Oh my god. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Who's they? Who? Who? Who do you think? The Libyans! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, what? I wasn't expecting guns! Not expecting anyone to get murdered. Got to get to 88. Yo, oh, you need to get on the highway. Oh, <laughs> that is the friendliest looking RPG I've ever seen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought that was an actual person. So this is the future? Or no, this is the past. No, 1955. Looks like an airplane. Oh my god. <laughs> to these people, they would they would actually look like aliens. That's funny to think about. My pine. People love their pines. I guess it is called twin pines. It's just a very intense dream. I'd be holding on to that extra plutonium for dear life. Th didn't he say before that there was nothing, there was no buildings or commercial stuff back then? Yeah, I guess. Can't be. He keeps getting like worst case scenario and it's making me anxious. He is having some bad luck. They're gonna aren't they gonna be like, what are you wearing? Da -da -ba 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 -ba. This movie's just making me realize how much more I love older music too. Yep, yeah, he's wearing his like puffy vest and they're all like in dresses and suits and stuff. Was that their Heelys back then? There's a clock again. Progress is his middle name. Mayor Red Thomas's progress platform. Yeah, sure. That's what they all say. This has gotta be a dream. Hey kid, what'd you do? Jump ship? Five cents for a coffee. Oh, I wish they would laugh at us now. You know where sixteen forty river Are you gonna order something, kid? Right, give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi, pal? You're gonna pay for it. Hey, McFly. Biff. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly. You Irish punk. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, you got my homework finished, McFly? Actually, I figured since it wasn't due till Monday. Hello. Hello. Anybody home? You realize what would happen if I hand in my homework and your handwriting? I'll get kicked out of school. Maybe that'd be a good thing. What are you looking at, butthead? Hey, Biff, they don't know this guy's life is in. I'll finish that on up tonight, and then I'll. Uh, Bring it over first thing tomorrow morning. He's still eating the same cereal, too. Alright, bye bye. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> I love how he said that. He's like, this is my dad, but my dad's my age. What? You're George McFly. Yeah, who are you? Say, what do you let those boys push you around like that for? Don't you know if you let people walk over you now? They'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. <laughs> and one day, I'm gonna be somebody. That's right, he's gonna be mayor. <gasps> oh, shoot. Now that's a good idea. I could run for mayor. Oh my gosh, so he probably is the one who got him to run for mayor in the first place. That's kind of cool. 
How has he not spilled his coffee? He's like, he's like doing this with it. I sneeze and I spill my coffee. I mean. Oh, oh, I'm sitting here like, oh, he's bird watching. How wholesome. <laughs> wow. Is that his future mom? Oh, shit. Karma? Oh! Wait a minute. Who are you? He's having a really, really bad day. Mom? Is that you? Been asleep for almost nine hours now. And I uh, went back in time. It was terrible. Safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955? <sighs> You're my mom. You're my mom. Don't say it! Rain babe? But you uh, you're so uh, Ew. Yeah, ew. I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. <laughs> why why do you keep calling me Calvin? That is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? <laughs> underwear. No, actually people call me Marty. I'd be going back in time and starting all these businesses before anyone else could. Calvin Klein. Apple. Do you mind if I This is so awkward. That's a, a big bruise you have there. <gasps> no, mommy. No, no, mommy. God, it's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> that no, no, no. I, this is now that I'm conflicted. Hi, Grandma. Sam, here's the young man you hit with your car out there. Well, this is a family reunion. So you're my uncle Joey. This is so bizarre. To these bars, kid. Oh, right, because he gets sent to jail. Do you have a television? Well, yeah, you know we have two of them. Wow, you must be rich. <laughs> Nobody has two televisions, Dad. <laughs> oh my god. And nowadays we have whole ass gaming rooms. Oh, jeez. I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. Yeah, well, I saw it on a rerun. Oh! <gasps> rerun. Never mind. You'll never find mind. out. Yeah. You know, why do you look so familiar to me? Do I know your mother? Yeah, I think maybe you do. Just a little bit. Uh, listen. Do you do you know where Riverside Drive is? It's uh, in the other end of town, a block past Maple. Well, that's, uh, that's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Oh! Well, with Marty's parents out of town, don't you think he ought to spend the night? And he can sleep in my room. Yeah. Well, ew! You're all great. Uh, see you all later. Much later. Much, much later. Like, years later. He's an idiot. Parents are probably idiots, too. Oh! <laughs> Lorraine, you ever have a kid who acts that way, I'll disown you. I love all the irony, it's hilarious. Please tell me he looks exactly the same. Doc? Thank God, <laughs> he does. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. All right, I'll prove it to you. Look at my driver's license. It expires 1987. Look at this picture. My brother, my sister, and me. Pretty mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your brother's hair. Who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? <laughs> and who's vice president? Jerry Lewis. I love how he finds this so unbelievable and he was just trying to read his mind. You were standing on your toilet and you were hanging a clock and you fell and you hit your head on the sink. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor. Well, thank God he heard it. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's not obvious at all. Nope, nobody would have seen that. Huh. It works! <laughs> it works! Never mind that, never mind that now. Never mind that, never mind. Why, that's me! Look at me! I'm an old man! He looks exactly the same. <laughs> Thank God I still got my hair! What on earth is this thing I'm wearing? This is a radiation suit. Now invent it now and make millions. Here you go. What did I just say? <laughs> to, to generate the 
made the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! Great Scott! Oh, I do know that line. All we need is a little plutonium. Yeah, oh, just... I'm sure that in 1985, plutonium was available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Oh, Doc, stuck here. I can't, I can't be stuck here. I got a life in 1985. But the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. This is it. It says here... That a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night. Next Saturday night. We're sending you back to the future. <laughs> and you must not leave this house. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Do you understand? Are you interacting with anybody else today besides me? Just my entire family. Let me see that photograph again of your brother. His head's gone. It's like, it's like it's been erased. What? Why did you do th Why? <gasps> oh my god! I think I get it! Is it because she might not end up with it? Because she likes her son? That's weird! Ugh. You guys are being real mature. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs> Jesus, didn't that guy ever have hair? <laughs> a little bit. Do you want to be a slacker for the rest of your life? But is your mother ever seeing that kid? Oh no, Doc, I don't know. I, I guess you felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. Hit me with the car. You remember me? The guy who saved your life the other day? Yeah. Good. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. My mom. Lorraine? Calvin! It's really a pleasure to meet you. How's your head? Oh, uh, good. Sorry, I have to go. Apparently your mother is amorously infatuated with you instead of your father. That would explain the disappearing. You're trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me. Precisely. Whoa, this is heavy. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. The only way we're gonna get those two to successfully bait is if they are alone together. So you've gotta get your father and mother to interact. Whoa, what, you mean like a date? Right. Hit him with a the car! There's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. Of course, the enchantment under the sea dance. They're supposed to go to this. Make sure he takes her to that dance. Remember that girl I introduced you to? Lorraine? What are you writing? Uh, stories. Yeah, let me read some. Oh, no, no, no. What if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? Oh, he seems like such a sweetheart. Well, minus the whole peeping Tom thing. Oh, wait. So anyway, George, about Lorraine. She told me to tell you that she wants you to ask her to the enchantment under the sea dance. What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. I think she'd rather go with somebody else. Ah, uh, who? Beth. That's a no for me, dog. You know you want me to give it to you. <laughs> Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Get your meat hooks off of me. Oh, we'd be going in for the right hook. <laughs> ah, please. For a bottle. Since you're new here, uh, I'm gonna cut you a break. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? I don't think that's how it goes, but... Why do you keep following me around? Look, George, I'm telling you, George, if you do not ask Lorraine to that dance, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. I'm just not ready to ask Lorraine out to the dance. Science fiction theater. Oh, just his calves are left. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get a rude awakening. Silence, Earthling! Oh, smart. My name is Darth Vader. Oh, that's so funny. Last night, Darth Vader came down from Planet Vulcan and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. So, well, whatever's natural, well, the first thing that comes into your mind. Nothing's coming to my mind. <laughs> Jesus, George, it was a wonder I was even born. What? What? Nothing, nothing. Tell him that she is the most beautiful girl you have ever seen in the world. I'm writing this down. This is good stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's go. He was his parents' own inspiration for so many things, and I think that's so funny. Also, can we just take a moment to really appreciate Marty McFly's outfit? The outfit do be fly! Boo. Give me a milk. Get, oh, give me a milk! He needs some milk! This is so me. This is so me because like I don't drink either. I would rather have a milkshake. <laughs> I'm George. George McFly. I'm your density. Destiny? Your destiny. I thought I told you never to come in here. 
Oh, thank God someone did it. Whoa, Biff. What's that? <laughs> he got biffed! That's Calvin Klein. That's Calvin Klein. No, he just improved it. The skateboard was born. He's not doing himself any favors. He's just perfect for his mother. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's about to be irresistible now. These people are just casually running each other over in this movie. I hope that's manure. Yup. <laughs> yeah, manure hauling. <laughs> he just became their hero. Where does he come from? Yeah, where does he live? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for money! Oh, is he gonna watch himself die? Listen, Doc. You know, there's something I haven't told you about the night we made that Please, Marty, don't tell me. No man should know too much about his own destiny. We run some industrial strength electrical cable from the top of the clock tower down, suspending it over the street between these two lampposts. At the calculated moment, you start off from down the street, driving directly toward the cable, accelerating to 88 miles per hour. Just as the connecting hook makes contact, thereby sending 1.21 gigawatts into the flux capacitor. Bill Nye the science guy was right. Science rules. Release. Are they gonna have to time that perfectly? <laughs> his dad was a peeping Tom and his mom's low-key stalker. Oh hi, I followed you. Marty, I followed you. Yep, yep. Told you. I was kind of wondering if he if you'd ask me to the enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday. What about, what about George? George McFly? I think a man should be strong. So he can stand up for himself. Did the doc just like, <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to go to the dance with her if she's already going to the dance with you? Dad, dad, daddy-o. Daddy-o. You're coming to a rescue, right? Right, okay, so right around 9 o'clock, she's gonna get very angry with me. Why is she gonna get angry with you? Nice girls get angry when uh, guys take advantage of her. <gasps> oh. oh. And you're gonna go touch her on her... No, no. Oh, my... Oh, good God. <laughs> you see us uh, struggling in the car. Hey, you, get your damn hands off her. Live happily ever after. You know, Marty, I'm gonna be very sad to see you go. You've really made a difference in my life. You've given me something to shoot for. Will you meet again? It'll be really hard waiting 30 years before I can talk to you about everything that's happened in the past few days. I'm really gonna miss you. <gasps> By the way, you die. Just a little thing I wanted to throw in there. Whatever you've got to tell me, I'll find out through the natural course of time. You're Dr. Brown. You will be shot by terrorists. Your friend. Marty. Yes, like, don't negotiate with terrorists. Rule number one. This movie makes me want to go, like, watch Grease now for the hundred billionth time. Marty, you seem so nervous. Is something wrong? Lorraine, Lorraine, what are you doing? You shouldn't drink. Why not? Because you, you might regret it later in life. Oh. Jesus, you smoke too? Marty, you're beginning to sound just like my mother. <laughs> this is so ironic. <laughs> Have you ever uh, been in a situation where you knew you had to act a certain way? Oh, you mean like how you're supposed to act on a first date? You know what I do in those situations? What? I don't worry. Uh, oh no, the level 10 cringe. What? What? Oh god! <laughs> the fear of God in his eyes. But when I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing my brother. <laughs> oh, you no. It makes perfect sense. Let's friend zone this and move on. 
Yeah, that's yes. Look at what we have here. Leave her alone, you bastard! You got to take him in back. All right, I'll be right there. That's for messing up my hair. The hell are you doing to my car? Hey, beat it, spook! This don't concern you. <laughs> Say that again. I said the keys are in here. Hey, you! Get your damn hands off. George, help me, please. Just turn around, McFly, and walk away. Oh, that's horrifying. No, Biff. You leave her alone. Stop it! You're gonna break his arm! Oh, no, he's gonna come save the day, and then she's gonna fall even more in love. Yes, do it. Finally! Are you okay? She is now. She's like Calvin Klein, who? Who is that guy? That's George McFly. That rhymed. This is for all you lovers out there. Is he like forgetting how to play? Kiss! Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> Now he can remember how to play! <laughs> oh, yay! This is so weirdly touching. Alright, this is, uh, this is an oldie, but, uh... Uh... It's an oldie where I come from. And he's probably about to blow their minds. Jump! Jump! Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's one way to shred. I can't guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> George asked if he could take me home. Great, good, good, Lorraine. Marty, will we ever see you again? Eventually. I guarantee it. If you guys ever have kids, and one of them, when he's eight years old, accidentally sets fire to the living room rug. It's very specific. Go easy on him. Damn, where is that kid? Damn, damn. Damn, damn. Ah, the old man really came through. It worked. I didn't know he had it in him. He's never stood up to Biff in his life. Ever. No, why? What's the matter? Is his dad going to be different in the future? Now he's going to go back and his dad's going to be like this super tough guy? Oh, man. Everything's about to be different. Well, I guess that's everything. Thank you. Is he still gonna be dead in the future, though? What's the meaning of this? You find out in 30 years. I warned you about this, kid. The consequences could be disastrous. No, that's a risk you're gonna have to take. I refuse to accept the responsibility. What if that was the lottery numbers? Oh, Doc! Uh, I have to tell you about the future! On the night I go back in time, you get- Oh, he's about to die 30 years early. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't even mind heights, but this is- No! Doc, why did you have to tear up that letter? I got a time machine. I could just go back early and warn him. Yeah, great. Keep messing with time. No, no. Not this time. Come on. Oh, will things stop going wrong? Oh. Uh, he's gonna get electric. He's gonna be the one to get electrocuted. It, it doesn't stop. <laughs> he scream. That's actually how I feel right now. Mm-mm.
He would be scrambled eggs. Did it work? I just realized no one else is outside. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's gonna try to go save the dock. Oh! <gasps> oh, it's them. Wait, won't that mess everything up, though, if he goes and saves him? Oh, no. Maybe he didn't actually die. Maybe he just got knocked out. Maybe he gets saved! He's got to be okay. Ah, yes. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. Please tell me he had a bulletproof vest on. Bulletproof vest. Wow. I, I didn't <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. He read the letter. Oh my god. Not all that talk about screwing up future events. I figured. What the hell? Right? Right? Like, who cares? Who cares? We thought one thing and it ended up actually being something- Cause like... Who cares? He's alive. Take care. You too. Song is fitting. <laughs> Again, how do you sleep in jeans? Heathen. What a nightmare. Linda, first of all, I'm not your answering service. Second of all, somebody named Greg or Craig called you just a little while ago. What the hell is this? Breakfast. Would you sleep in your clothes again last night? Yeah, what are, what are you wearing, Dave? I always wear a suit to the office. Oh my gosh, he changed everything. Were you cheating? <laughs> no. Hello. His dad's like super cool now. <laughs> you guys look great. Mom, you, you look so thin. Good morning, sleepyhead. And she's not like, hey, you look exactly like this dude that I had a massive crush on. Aren't you going up to the lake tonight? You've been planning it for two weeks. She's definitely singing a different tune now. How can I go to the lake? Car's wrecked. Wrecked. See, there's Biff out there waxing her right now. Just finishing up the second coat now. Now, Biff, don't con me. Look who's the bully now. Although, if it wasn't for him, we never would have fallen in love. What about Calvin Klein? Mr. McFly, this just arrived. Oh, hi, Marty. I think it's your new book. Oh, honey. Your first novel. Marty, here's your keys. You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. He's like, I could get used to this. How about a ride, mister? Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. Everything is great. Oh no. Marty! You've gotta come back with me! To the future! Wait, back to the future or the 25 years in the- Go ahead, quit, get the car! No, 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 I just got here. I wish my car ran on junk. What happens to us in the future? Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has gotta be done about your kids. We'll just tell them now so that they can prevent it when they have kids. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> oh, how good! That was so good! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I've never seen that movie, because that is just, that is so me. It's so cheesy. It's so wholesome. But yeah, that was so cute i loved all of like the irony in it it was so ironic the whole time they're they're sitting there taking jabs at marty and then they don't realize that they're actually insulting themselves and it was kind of cool that he did go back and then change his future 
for the better, but I just love, love, love watching these classic movies. I swear. I do love the whole vibe where, like, you can tell that this was filmed on a set, and you could tell that the acting is, like, a little bit more dramatic than people would say, than people would say things in real life. It just gives these movies such a level of charm where I love feeling like I am watching a performance or like a stage play. I really don't watch a lot of movies now, but I do love going back and kind of catching up on all these old classics that I missed or didn't get the chance to watch when I was younger. Obviously there's a sequel, like loud and clear they set this up for a sequel, but now to be able to have actually seen the movie, it was just, it was so good. It was so funny, just very charming and very, very wholesome. Thank you again, Burn the 23 for the recommendation. I, I really appreciated that. This was definitely something that I needed to watch at this point where if I, if I wouldn't have been recommended this, I don't know when I would have watched it, to be totally honest. But I loved how aware I became of, like, the era differences and stuff and seeing, or, or like, when he goes back in time and you realize, like, oh my gosh, in, at that time, what he's wearing, what he's driving, what the mu down to the music that he enjoys, like that would all be so alien to people in, that lived in the 50s. And I'm sitting there watching, wishing that I could go back in time just to go fill up my gas tank when it was probably five cents a gallon and then just come back to the present day. And then I'd save so much money on gas. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this movie reaction. I hope you liked it. I do feel like... I got a bit immersed in everything at some point, so I might have forgotten to talk too much, but I hope my facial expressions were able to tell enough of the story. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button to get notified for all future movie reaction videos. I know sometimes it might be harder for me to kind of keep up with this channel and stuff, but these, these videos really are so, so, so time consuming and then having to dodge copyright stuff. I do appreciate your guys' patience with when trying to crank out these videos. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next reaction video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.